Welcome again, guys, to this new Hacker Rank Challenge. And today we are going to look at strings. Now, strings are one of the things that usually people like to skip because they think they are too easy. But they are also one of the things that can get you into trouble, you know, uh, silently make your program fail without you noticing. So let's just um, go through it and make sure that we understand how to use strings. Um, on this page here, the, um, they are showing us some of the uh, common uses of the string data type in C++. So usually we would um, assign string values to string objects. We will check their, their length, how many characters a string has by calling the dot size method on the string object. We will concatenate two strings together by using the addition symbol or the plus symbol. And we will also access um, individual or specific characters in a string uh, by um, you know, uh, using the um, index notation, just like arrays. It's like a, an array of characters. So whenever you are using uh, strings and you want to access a single value in them, make sure that you use the char data type. Okay, the string is like the whole sequence of uh, characters together, if you want. Um, but the um, every single character in that string is in fact like a character of char data type. So make sure you use char, all right? And um, that's pretty much it. These are the four common uses of string. That's not everything that they do, but these are the uh, four common uses. So now we are going to test our knowledge by going through this very simple hacker rank challenge. And what they are asking us here is um, getting two strings, A and B, uh, separated by a new line. So we can use C in, C out for that challenge. And then uh, we don't have to worry about that. Of course, they're going to be um, you know, uh, alphabet characters, Latin characters. And then uh, what we have to do after we uh, receive that input is on the first line, we need to um, print the length of those strings. So when we say length, again, we're talking about the number of characters in the strings. So an example here, if we input A, B, C, D, and then E, F, we have to print out the size of the first um, the first string, which is four, there are four characters, A, B, C, D. And the second one, two, because E and F are two characters. On the second line, we have to print, um, we have to concatenate them together uh, to form a single string. So here we have A, B, C, D, E, F together. And then on the third line, we have to print them um, with a space, but then we have to swap their first characters. So here, instead of A, B, C, D, we're going to have E, B, C, D. And then here, instead of um, E, F, we're going to have A, F, because we are swapping A and E, which are their first, um, their first characters, all right? So let's get started right now. We need to type it here, complete the program. The first thing that we have to do is, of course, get our variables ready. The next thing is receive input. So we're going to use C in A. Then when the user is done um, inputting the first value, they will press enter, and then they can input the value for B. And when we are done, uh, what we have to do first is uh, print the size, the sizes of the um, of the strings. We don't need separate variables for them. We can simply call the methods in the C out command, just like this: a dot size. Then we add a space here so that we get the same output of the as they have right here. Then we type b dot size and end line. This will take us to the next line. On the second line, uh, we have to concatenate them together. They're actually giving us the uh, the answer here, A plus B, which is very simple. The same thing that they are showing us uh, here, A plus B. So once again, we don't need another variable for that. We can directly call that in the uh, C out command. Let me make a space to make this cleaner. Then uh, we can say C out A plus B, and end line. Now the next thing that we have to do is handle the uh, swapping swapping of first characters. This is the comments. So let's have a string, um, a uh, char uh, variable called temp, which will hold the first character of A, the A string. So the first character is at index zero, all right? So the next thing is, I can now say A index zero, which means if we have A, B, C, D, the first one is going to be A. And I want to say this is equal to the first character of B. And when we are done, now A has lost its initial um, first character value. So we can retrieve that via the, uh, the temp uh, variable here. 
So we can now say B0, the first character in B at index 0, is equal to the character stored in temp. And now when we are done, we just have to see out again A. And A, we add a space here, and then we uh, add B. And line. All right, so I believe that is it for this uh, program. Let's run our code and make sure that we didn't make any um, silly mistakes. I don't think so. So we passed uh, test case zero. Let's submit the code to make sure that we've passed all the test cases. I think we have, and yeah, we have. So as you can see, it was a very simple challenge, but it's always good to make sure that you polish the very basics uh, in any programming language. So once again, this was for the strings in C++. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe. You turn on your notifications and you uh, give this video a thumbs up and drop your comments below. I will catch you next time. Bye.